We had several other options in the Sunuka crater chains of the Reckonus Peninsula of Iceland, but the eruption which started like this uh, just uh, two weeks ago and created this wild phreatic uh, uh, reactions when it came in contact with the rainwater and grew to a huge size, up to 60 meters now, and created the largest large uh, gas pollution, air pollution, in the Reckonus Peninsula and most of the Iceland, and created the lava pond, which uh, occasionally burst its banks and covered the largest area so far of any single eruption in the Suartsengi volcanic system. And as you see in this latest map, 9.1 square meters against anything else that was around 5 to 6. Although we have been measuring the GPS data and this was wobbling and showing the land rise and coming down, this was not related, this latest one was not related to this shallow source in the Swartzengi because the magma source was very similar from into the family also. It falls into the category of the Fegridesvel eruption rather than the one in the Swartzengi. That means it's a deeper source which providing the magma for this, as you can see here, 8 to 12 kilometers. And I was right that uh, when I was telling that source is actually similar to what is in the Fagadesville, a deep source, is now creating a update for the hazard map in that area because of the gas pollution, sulfur dioxide, and the elemental sulfur itself, uh, and creating this update. And practically with saying what I have said to you now, and uh, showing that this eruption is different and so far is the biggest in this uh, past few eruptions since the uh, December 2023 with the uh, upheaval of this area in the Swartzengi volcanic system started with the earthquake in November and continued with multiple eruptions up to now. This one is a different one.